the question that we've been asked is how do we use additional parties for family forms for that I created uh, you know a matter I'm going to give it uh, you know a, fa a family uh, code file number and hit the save button I mark the area of practice as family law now if I don't have any additional parties filled up the software will tend to use the previous way which is like when you do forms and you do family it will ask you you know respondents and you can say Oh, Adam Brown is one respondent, and you can say uh, Thomas Jones is another respondent, and then choose their uh, corresponding, uh, uh, you know, uh, representatives. And then for child, you can say the Crown, you know, and then you can say Ottawa Courthouse, and then download the form. That's the old way of doing things. Uh, what it'll do is it'll, it'll take all these information and put that into the document and fill it up for you. Now. What we now want to support is start using additional parties as a method by which we can support family form. So let's quickly have a quick look at the form that you would have fill for you and then look at the new way. So as you see here, Emma Brown, which is a primary applicant in this matter, is here. Jason Bourne, the lawyer in this account, is actually filled here. And the two respondents that we, whom we pick, Adam Brown and Thomas Jones, and their up corresponding lawyers are actually picked here okay and the child representative if you had picked would have come here now I'm going to show uh, a way by which we're going to do the same thing in additional parties now to do that you would click on add parties and then you can add start adding one by one the Browns like for example Adam Brown is a respondent you can add him and save now right after you added Adam Brown you need to add his or her representative let's say Stefan Edward is the representative of uh, of uh, Adam Brown you would add it right here similarly if you had more like for example Thomas uh, you know Jones was the other uh, rep, uh, respondent you would add that now if Thomas did not have a representative you just leave that blank like you would not add a representative and let's say another Brown, uh, let's say Hudson Brown was another respondent, you would add that one. And then uh, he might have a representative, like, you know, for example, chat spell could be the representative of Hudson. So what we're saying is Emma is an applicant and we can even add two applicants. So we can say, uh, uh, let's say Richard Brown and Emma Brown are the two applicants, okay, and Richard representative is, say, Jason, same as Emma's, right? We can just say he is just uh, a representative, and we can also add child representative. Like, for example, you can say uh, Mr. Spell is also the child representative. So what we've said here is we've added a series of people and we've said who is, uh, you know, the representative of whom. So in this case, we said Richard Brown, his rep representative is Jason Brown. Uh, we added a few respondents and their corresponding representative. Like notice here, Thomas Jones, we clearly said, and Hudson Brown, clearly we said both of them don't have representatives. So now when we go ahead, and create the form. So you notice that it's not asking you for any of this information. You can say Ottawa and download. Now you will see that the software is smart enough. It figures out, you know, based on the order in which we have given things, who is whose representative, and it'll actually fill the form. So clearly, Emma Brown is that, Richard Brown is the other uh, applicant, his representative was also Jason Brown, so it marked that. Now, Adam Brown, his representative was Stefan Edback, it marked that. Thomas Jones and Hudson Brown did not have a representative, so it didn't mark that. Uh, you know, and it filled in everything that was required in this form. So again, you can use additional parties to actually 
uh, now start using in the form. The only thing that you need to make sure is right after the person whom you have added, you need to add his or her representative so that the software knows who is representing that person so that we can start filling the form.